coffee number two of the morning. Hi, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. I feel so thrown off because I was just on vacation for the last few weeks and spending time with family and today's my first day like back to work and back into the routine and it feels like it should be a Monday, you know? I'm so excited to be vlogging again. I need to go get ready though because I wanna leave here in the next like 30 minutes. I have two clients today. Normally I don't take clients during the week. I usually just do hair on Saturdays, but because I've just been traveling a lot, I've been trying to take more people during the week to make up for the time that I'm away. So yeah, two clients today. One is a highlight haircut, and then the second one, I think we're just touching up her highlights around her face. Not entirely sure. I did her hair several weeks ago, and she's actually about to move out of the area. So I think she just wants her hair like super fresh before she leaves and has to go find a new hairstylist. And then after work, I'm gonna stop at the grocery store and then Julia and I are gonna be recording our podcast. I'm so excited for that to be back as well. And we have a YouTube channel, we have video now. That's always linked in the description if you guys wanna check it out, support, go subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. That's the plan for today. I'm gonna go finish this, get ready, and I will show you my outfit. Okay. Here's what I'm wearing today. These overalls are super old. I got them years ago on clearance from Urban Outfitters, I wanna say. Um, but I've seen very, very similar ones from Amazon. So I'll try to find some similar ones and link them down below. But I love these because they're just loose and comfy. And I just have like a plain black cami underneath. And then I'm wearing my Doc Martens Blair sandals. And then my jewelry, I just got a couple new bracelets recently. And this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Ana Luisa. Thank you so much to them for working with me. 98% of the jewelry that I wear on a regular basis is all from Ana Luisa. And I'm always getting questions. Where do you get your jewelry from? Where's that bracelet from? Where are those earrings from? So if you guys saw my last vlog, I did an unboxing. I got this new cuff, this new flower bracelet, and then this cuff, which is like that. This bangle I always get asked about. This is old. This my mom gave it to me. This was hers like before I was even born. But the rest of my bracelets, like the snake chain one, also Anna Luisa, I'm always wearing bracelets. Like if you've been watching me for a while, I always have a bunch of bracelets on my wrist. I never take them off. My earlobe earrings are all Ana Luisa as well. I love these little hooks and these studs. I keep those in 24 seven, but I really love these new pieces that I got. I've had them on all week on my vacation. I swam in the ocean multiple times. I was in the pool wore them in the shower like i like jewelry that is good quality and is gonna last me and is gonna be like sweat and water resistant because i like to just have my staple pieces that i can leave on all the time and not have to worry about them i still have pieces from Ana luisa that i got back in 2020 that I still wear that still look brand new and they've been gradually adding more and more silver pieces as well so if you're not a gold jewelry kind of person and you prefer silver they also have silver options but yeah if you're just looking for jewelry that's good quality but isn't crazy expensive definitely check out Ana Luisa their jewelry starts at $39 they're a sustainable company and I'm telling you as someone who's been an avid wearer of their pieces for years now it really does hold up. So if you guys want to check them out, I will have a link down below as well as a discount code that will save you 20% off your order. And I will link each individual piece that I'm wearing as well, like the earrings and all of the bracelets and everything like that. Thank you so much, Anna Luisa, for continuing to work with me. That's what I'm wearing to work today. I need to head out of here. I will see you at the salon. This first client had very, very grown out hair 
and she wanted a full head of blonde. She said she really liked the blonde color she had on the ends, so she just wanted to bring that up, but keep it very like blended, rooted, low maintenance, but still nice and bright around her face. So I did a full head of foils. <laughs> As you can see, it was a lot. And for her root tap, I did 7M from Redken JTQ, and then 9GI with 9N for her all over gloss. And this was her final hair. And then my second client, I forgot to get a before clip of her hair, but you can kind of tell she was just like a rooted blonde. Like I said, I had did her hair a few weeks ago. So I just added some more highlights throughout to bring the blonde up higher and make it nice and fresh and bright. For her root smudge, I did 7M again, and then 9V with 9N was her all over gloss color. And this was her final hair. Oh my God, it's so humid in here. Just finished with my clients. I am <laughs> exhausted. It's almost 5 30. So that was six hours and then cleaning up like six and a half. You hairstylists or like servers, anyone that works a job or nurses, doctors, anyone that works a job where you are on your feet the whole time and you work like 12 plus hour shifts at a time i really don't know how you do it i usually just do like six hours at a time and anytime i go over that i feel dead oh my god and it's really just blow drying that like kills my back and my shoulders that's the part that i hate the most and i feel like that's the most exhausting part like i could foil and apply color all day every day and be fine but blow drying no um but my clients both went really well their hair turned out beautiful as you saw but they both had a lot of hair so oh, i am tired i was gonna go to the grocery store after work but right now i just don't feel like dealing with it and especially this time of day i feel like the store is going to be packed and there's probably going to be a lot of traffic so i just want to go straight home so i actually ordered <laughs> delivery so that way hopefully it'll get there shortly after i get home because i have no groceries at home i'm also just not in the mood to cook or do anything i wish i had factor but I don't at the moment. So delivery it is. Oh, and we were supposed to record the podcast when I got home today, but we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> Julia's on vacation right now with her family, so I'm gonna just do a solo episode and I'm gonna record that tomorrow. So I'm gonna just go home, take Benny out, eat my food, and just hang out on the couch and just get caught up on my shows and YouTube videos that I didn't get to watch this whole week. So that's what I'm gonna do. It sounds like a lovely evening. Good morning. I just got my grocery order. <laughs> like I said yesterday, I was supposed to go to the grocery store. But I was just exhausted, didn't have it in me. So I placed a delivery and I scheduled it to come this morning. And it just got here. God bless, honestly. I love that we have this as an option and that I live in a place where this is possible. Because where I lived before in my hometown, we were like up in the mountains and this just wasn't even an option. Let's do a quick little haul. I didn't get like too much stuff. I just wanted a few things to kind of hold me over until I can go and do like a full restock. Got some mini ice cream sandwiches. We got some green onion, mini cucumbers. Got some frozen vegetables, broccoli stir fry, and this is Parmesan garlic, roasted red potatoes, and green beans. Got some Olipops. These are so good, the strawberry vanilla. Oh my god, I need to clean my fridge so bad. Then we got some blueberry English muffins. My fave salmon filet. Bananas. A red onion. Grape tomatoes. And some spring mix. 
And that's everything. So I'm gonna put this stuff away, make myself a little breakfast, finish editing the podcast. Oh, I don't know if I said, I ended up, we decided that I was gonna just record a solo episode because Julia's on her family vacation and she said her sister's babies were being super fussy and like would not stop crying. So it was just too noisy for her to record. So I was like, that is totally fine. I can record a solo episode. So I did that last night. So I'm just gonna edit that. And then I wanna go work out before I have to leave for work because then I am working front desk later this afternoon doing closing shift and that is it for today. Tomorrow I have the day off. So I'm looking forward to that because it'll be nice to just have a full day to myself alone so I can like officially get caught up with everything. Like I have a lot of laundry I wanna do. I still haven't fully unpacked my bag from Florida. I wanna clean. Just gotta get through today first. But yeah, happy Thursday. It's several hours later. I'm getting ready to leave. I need to leave here in the next uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> I got the podcast edited. I scheduled it to go live, filled out the description, got our Instagram post for tomorrow ready to go. If I know that I have to go into the salon for work, I try to have like my salon days and then my like social media work from home days be separate. Cause I feel like once I get in the zone with stuff I'm doing on my computer, it's really hard for me to step away from that and pull myself out of it. And then I just don't feel like being social. Like I just feel so like disconnected from the outside world. Cause I'm so sucked into what I'm doing on the computer, if that makes sense. But, you know, because of this week and being on vacation and stuff, I have a shorter week, so I have to kind of like squeeze more in to less days. It is what it is. Hello, happy Friday. Today I have the day off and it's already, oh, I don't know, I have the timer going. What time is it? It's already 1.30, so. I spent the morning doing like a little bit of computer work. A new podcast episode went up today, so I was working on that. And I made us a new profile photo logo kind of thing that kind of goes more with like the rest of our theme on our Instagram. And now I just started doing a little bit of cleaning up. That's really like mostly what I want to do today. Work out at some point and just straighten up the apartment and get fully caught up so i just put all the dirty dishes in the dishwasher i have that running now i'm about to put some laundry to wash so let's strip these bed sheets It's several hours later. I just got back from the gym, showered, and I totally forgot that I had made plans with my friends to go to dinner tonight. So I didn't finish all the cleaning that I wanted to do, but that's okay because I can either finish that tomorrow when I get home from work if I feel up to it or I'll hop off on Sunday and I can just do it then. But I don't really feel like wearing a bunch of makeup tonight because we're just going to dinner and it's just gonna be my girlfriends and we're not like going anywhere fancy. We're going to a Mexican restaurant, which I'm so excited. I love Mexican food. I love margaritas and I am really looking forward to having one. So I'm just moisturizing, did some brow gel, concealer under the eyes, because these dark circles are intense right now. And I'm gonna do a little bit of this milk lip and cheek tint in the shade Quickie. I'm 
just gonna blend that out with my fingers. I'm gonna put that on my lips as well. And I like to just tap it because then it doesn't add as much color. Then I'm gonna take the Too Faced Lip Injection Plumping Gloss, put that on top. I love this combination. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara. This is the Thrive Mascara, like the liquid lash extensions. And some perfume. Ambery Saffron from Dossier, as always. And I just slicked my hair back in a low pony. I think I'm gonna put in some hoop earrings. Just add like a little something. Then I will show you the rest of my outfit. Here's my outfit. Don't mind the clothes on the bed. I still need to make my bed and put that stuff away. I'll deal with it when I get home. But I'm wearing this one shoulder top from H&M. These pants I've had for a while. I got them on clearance from Aerie. And then I'm wearing these flat sandals from Target. I'm so happy that I got these. They were super cheap and I've been wearing them a ton. And I put in these chunky hoops from Ana Luisa. I think these are called the Abbey. So yeah, that is my look for our girls' dinner. Good morning. We had a lovely dinner last night. It was very laid back and chill and I completely forgot to get any clips because I hadn't seen my friends in a couple of weeks. So I feel like we just had a lot to catch up on and we all had gone on vacations since the last time we saw each other. So we were just getting all caught up on that. The poor waitress had came by multiple times to take our order and we were like, oh, sorry, we still need some more time because we hadn't even looked at the menu yet because we were just so occupied talking. And now it's Saturday morning. I am getting ready to go to the salon. I'm gonna literally do the exact same thing that I did last night as far as like hair and a little bit of makeup because I am actually getting a keratin treatment on Monday. So she's gonna have to wash my hair before she does that anyways. And my hair is just a greasy mess right now, but I feel like there's no point in washing it. So ponytail it is. Today I have three clients. I was supposed to have four, but one canceled a couple days ago and I honestly was a little bit relieved because she's great. I've done her hair once before, but I was double booked and that's kind of tricky to do when you're working by yourself and you don't have an assistant or anyone to help you between like having less availability and then also just getting really booked up. I've been super busy, which is a blessing. I'm very grateful, but um, as a result, I've been having to take clients during the week some days and double book myself. But at my salon, all of the other hairstylists work during the week and then on Saturdays, they do weddings or if they don't have a wedding to do, they just take the day off. And they all have assistance during the week my coworker who's gonna be doing my keratin treatment on Monday is actually an assistant at the salon. And I'm kind of thinking about maybe seeing if she would be interested in assisting me on Saturdays. Maybe not every single Saturday, but like one or two Saturdays a month. That way I can like fully just double book and just stack up clients on those days. And honestly, that would be so nice because now the most clients I'll take typically in one day is like four. But I would say like on average, I usually do anywhere between like two to four in one day. A lot of the clients that I have get color. Like it's very rare that I will have just a haircut. Most of my appointments are anywhere between three to four hours generally when I'm working by myself. So if I have an assistant, not only would I be able to finish clients faster because if I have somebody helping me foil and helping me blow dry and style and all that, we could knock it out in like half the time. Um, 
but also I'd be able to take more clients because while I'm doing foils on one person, my assistant could be rinsing out someone else's foils and putting their toner on and getting them blow dried and all of that and like helping to move that along. That way I don't ever have anybody just like sitting there waiting for me. So yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna talk to her and see what she thinks. Cause I was thinking about also just trying to find an assistant of my own, but I don't know. We haven't had the best luck. One of the other stylists there has been having trouble finding a good assistant and keeping one. So I don't know if I want to deal with all of that. And I also don't know if I want to go back to doing hair full time. I think right now I'm really just enjoying the balance of doing it part time. And if I can still just do like one or two days max a week, of hair but like be able to take more people during that time and make more money i feel like that would be the ideal situation okay i am ready like i was saying today i have three clients my first one's a highlight haircut my second client we are gonna do a clarifying treatment on her which i need to stop at cosmoprof on my way to the salon really quick and get what I need for that. But she had previous color done by someone else and then she came in to me like almost two months ago and we did a demi-permanent really dark brown color on her hair and now she wants to just try to fade that color as much as possible and just let her hair grow out to her natural like dirty blonde. But she doesn't want to bleach it and do all that because I told her that we would have two different options. We could either do like a clarifying treatment and just kind of gradually, slowly fade the color over time and just let it grow out. Or we could do like a full on more intense color remover that works more like a bleach to pull the color out and lighten her hair. But there's no way to just go back to your natural color unless you did just like a direct deposit that's supposed to wash out after a couple shampoos but if you do anything that you're mixing developer with and especially if the hair's been colored multiple times already it just kind of is what it is so i told her we could lighten the ends of her hair and then i could put a color on top of that that matches her natural color but the only issue with that is it's going to need to be like refresh over time she's going to have to come back in to like retone it and stuff like that and i think she just wants to like be able to leave it and be more low maintenance so i told her with the clarifying treatment there isn't a guarantee of how much color it'll pull out but it's essentially just vitamin c powder that you mix with water so it's not damaging at all whatsoever to your hair so you can redo the process multiple times if you need to and you know we can do multiple sessions she said that that's the route she wants to take so that's what we're gonna do and it's very easy for me and then my third client is just a haircut we're just doing a trim that's the plan for the day really quick because i have to take benny out and then head out of here because i need to stop at cosmoprof like i said so i'm I need to give myself an extra few minutes but this is what I'm wearing today. This top is from American Eagle. This skirt is from Target, as are my sandals. And I figure because I'm not doing any dark color or like crazy color correction or anything like that, I should be safe wearing light colors to work. So fingers crossed that uh, I don't stain anything. Okay, I just got to the salon. My first appointment is supposed to be in 10 minutes, but I actually now have a station set up. So I don't have to, I had all of my stuff in like my little travel kit suitcase thing. So I would have to like take everything out of that and set it up. But now everything I have like a little cart with all my stuff in it. So all I have to do is pull out my blow dryer plug it in and yeah so that's nice that saves me a little like prep time but I stopped at Cosmo Prof and I got some goodies I got two packets of Malibu CPR I'm only going to use the one but I figured let me just get two just in case it'll be nice to just have and then I'm gonna 
I am commissioned at the salon, so the owner provides all of our products. She's gonna pay me back for the stuff that I bought, but um, then I'll just add to like our list of stuff to order for her to get more for the future, because especially since I do color corrections somewhat regularly, it's nice to have these kinds of things. Um, but I also got the Undo Goo shampoo, and then this I think is a newer thing. I don't think I have seen, or no, I guess I have. I've just never used it. This is the Malibu Color Disruptor. So it's like a whole system. You shampoo with this, leave this on for like 30 minutes, then shampoo it out with this again, then do the CPR treatment leave that on shampoo that out and yeah so I'm hoping that that will remove as much of the color as possible and like I said nothing gets mixed with developer there's no bleach so it's not going to do anything to her natural color at all and it won't be damaging it's just like clarifying I am excited I've used the CPR before I've used that you know like the undo goo shampoo but the color disruptor i've never used so it'll be interesting to see like how the whole system works together and what results we get so yeah i will share the process let's go in and get set up so my first client on this day had a grown out rooted bronze and she just wanted to move the color up get everything refreshed but her main concern was keeping it really blended and low maintenance because as you could see her natural color is really dark and she felt like the way her color was currently it was just not growing out as nicely as she would like so I did little fine baby lights all throughout with a root smudge and this was her final hair it came out so beautiful and then client number two this was the one that I did the clarifying treatment on so I wanted to show you guys pictures of her hair when she originally came in to me two months ago the photo on the left was her hair before when she first came in and then the photo on the right was her hair after I had did the dark demi permanent color on her so as you can see her natural color is quite light so her roots were starting to grow out but the color throughout was still quite dark so the first step was to shampoo her hair with that clarifying shampoo and then I applied the Malibu color disruptor throughout her hair section by section scrubbed it in really well then I put a processing cap on her hair and I let her sit under heat for 30 minutes then I mixed up the CPR treatment I applied that to her hair same thing processing cap left her under heat this time for 45 minutes clarify shampooed that a few times and then this was the final result after the whole treatment she actually came out quite light you definitely can still see the difference between her roots she didn't get as light as her natural color but i think for just one session it came out pretty good and the best part no damage and then my last client of the day, we just did a really basic, simple trim on her, but I just had to show you guys how good her color looked two months after doing it. She had not gotten it refreshed or touched up at all since early May, and it still looked this good. Love it. This is how humid it is right now. My lens is completely fogged up. Oh my God. Why did no one tell me? <laughs> I have toner on my head. Amazing. Cool. Okay. Anyway, I just got done. It's four o'clock. I'm gonna head home. I will talk to you when I get there. It's about an hour later. I'm home now, obviously. I made myself a salad drinking my Olipop and I feel great. Today went really well. I am definitely tired physically, like my legs, my back and my shoulders definitely feeling sore. It's another reason why I'm like, you know, an assistant would be so nice because I love doing hair. I love doing color, but I really do not like blow drying and styling at the end but yeah it went really smooth i had no downtime 
pretty much the whole day. But honestly, I love that because then I get to finish sooner and I can just like, while we're one person sitting and processing, I can work on the next person and I don't have to like sit around in the back waiting for them to process. Like I can just get through everybody quickly and efficiently. So I'm just gonna hang out on the couch for a little bit and then do some editing, give my legs a little bit of a break. Tomorrow I have the day off and I don't have any appointments or anything planned. So I'm just gonna stay home and I'll finally finish cleaning. I really wanna clean out my fridge because it's been a while since I've like taken everything out and done a deep clean. I don't think I'm gonna vlog anymore the rest of today. So I will see you in the morning.